goals for the Nitro 5 were basically to have a more user-friendly relaunch scenario with a shorter bridle. We came up with what we call the spider bridle, which is basically a combination of a foil type bridle in the center and sort of a bridge bridle toe point in the wingtips. A simple four line structural bridle that connects the wingtips to the center of the kite and then supports the shoulders with some short lines that all come to a junction, which we call the spider junction. At that point, we have two lines, one to the wingtip and one to the junction, which create the toe point in free space. The ability to move that toe point around without changing the rest of the bridle is the magic of the spider. What happens is you have really good shape control, you have good stability, and you're able to move the toe point around without changing any of the other lines. The result was we were able to shorten the bridle substantially. We have much better shape control in the wingtips. We have less flexibility in overall bridle, which allows the kite to, to depower really nicely. It's really, very smooth. Uh, the bridle basically hinges about that line where the junction and the wingtip connect and that gives faster turning, better deep power, lower bar pressure, better rear line tension sheeted out, relaunches better, the whole kite is substantially better and uh, we're really proud of the spider bridle because we think it's a pretty innovative approach to solving the problem of a high aspect sea kite or open sea with a short bridle.